my dick in my pants. Hey, my bitch don't love me no more. Hey, she kicked me out of life, bro. Naga, Divine One, I am not your enemy. How can she face the Naga? He is a demi-god. This is not her foe. This is the guardian of the land of the mystics. He is enraged by the corruption, by the taint of this invasion. She must win his trust. I will not suffer trespassers. I came to seek my brother. I am no demon. Kill them! I am here only to give them aid.
Shank. Will you listen to that? If not to me? Chieftain's life was in peril. Then Raji stepped forward and finally faced her foe. She struck the invader. But his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Kolu saw his chance and he ran to his sister as their enemy disappeared. Raji was near death. But here she was among the mystics, most knowledgeable practitioners of magic. If they could not save her, then no one could. Finally, she was with Golu, but this could not last. by a god, not a street performer. She is too weak. Who is she? A performer? A nothing. Who lost her brother? She will fail and the world will fall. It should not be on her shoulders. She will fail. She lost Golu once. How can she hope to protect him now? You lost me before, Didi. I don't know if you can save me. Please don't lose me again. Please, sister. I need you. Didi, I'm here. I hope you can... <laughs> Raji, can't you find me? Maybe you aren't strong enough. Maybe you can't save oh, me. Oh, my sister. 
I don't think you have reached me last time before, Didi. Didi, please don't lose me again. I don't know if you can save me. Didi, I'm oh, my sister. You lost me before, Didi. I, I think, think you, you can will reach me. me in time. Please don't lose me again. If only you try. The mystic chieftain warned her. Their enemy was Mahabalasura, the outcast, the most powerful mystic ever born. The scroll that he had stolen held a mantra to rip open the gates of the Dev Heavens. Raji was the only one with the power to stop him before he tore apart the world. So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. Yet she will find it. And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. He is full of tricks, that one. I believe he has a deeper strategy. Raji must be careful, but she must also be swift. There, in the far distance. That is the gate. I am sure of it. I need not have worried. These mystics know what they are about. Indeed, there they lie. The gates to Dev Bhumi.
this is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? One last blessing, my child, before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain, and you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin, and grant might to your limbs. And know that I am proud, for your heart is already as strong as can be. Grant a gift of most celestial power. <laughs> Mahabalasura is no weakling. Let us hope it will be enough. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. She wields the chakra as one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will destroy you. <laughs>
finally Raji faced Mahabala Sura and he revealed the extent of his power She must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him
my power. You know I can hurt you. Her enemy had copied himself. Mahabalasura was on every side. Raji could not see the truth, that this was just a diversion. (laughs) 
Mahabalasura had escaped Raji and stood at the gates, reciting the mantra. But why? And then, another voice took up the chant. Golu! too late. Although Raji still fought, the gates to the Dev heavens now stood open. Mahabalasura's design had come to pass and Golu had been the key. Now what horror would be unleashed on the world?